Good morning. It is a great pleasure for us to present our project in this important competition. My name is Guillermo Duran, and I currently work at the University of Buenos Aires in Argentina. I shall introduce this project, which is joint work with Facundo Gutierrez and Javier Marengo, also from the University of Buenos Aires, Denis Sabre and Gonzalo Zamorano from the University of Chile, and Mario Guajardo from the NHH in Norway. This application to the Football League in Argentina, Soccer for You, in which we have been working since 2018, is a continuation of our research in sports scheduling, starting in 2005 with the football schedule in Chile, men and women, then with professional volleyball in Argentina since 2007, professional basketball in Argentina since 2014, men and women, including the efficient assignment of referees, the South American qualifiers for the last two soccer World Cups, and professional football in Ecuador in the last two seasons. It is important to note that the different formats and characteristics of these tournaments force us to apply quite different techniques for each one. Probably our work with the Argentine Football League is the one that has had the greatest impact among all our projects, due to the importance of this league and the passion that football generates in this country. As Pope Francis himself has known, in Argentina, football is as important as religion. The following is a video produced by the main sports channel in the country reflecting how football is lived in Argentina. Si me preguntas a mí, yo te no tiene arreglo. Escúchame, en Estados Unidos vos ponés un pie en la calle y frenan todo, viejo. Acá, ¿sabés qué? Por ejemplo, en Suiza, aunque sigas trabajando, cobra la jubilación igual, hermano. Y Europa es Europa. Eh, Europa es Europa, pero acá no le llegamos nunca a ninguna. En España, pagás una bicicleta. ¿La usás? ¿La dejás? Se la lleva otro. Acá también se la lleva otro. No. <risa> en Alemania, vos tirás un papelito ah. y se te acercan y te dicen, señor, se le cayó esto. Es cultura. Lapa. Ce peuple qui perd ou qui gagne, ils continuent de chanter, ils ont ça. Con una calza. L'ho visti giocare con una calza. La prendono, ci fanno una palla e giocano per strada con le calze. È una cosa che non ho mai visto in vita mia. Il che tu puoi dire ci sento le mosse, che tu io è pesce. They lose, they won't go to the cinema, they don't go to the theatre, they do nothing. The fans, the fans all the players. Avec le cœur. D'ailleurs c'est facile dans toutes les équipes championnes et non moins. Professional Football League, known as the Superliga. We developed an integer programming model for the Superliga season schedule and then solved it using a decomposition approach. Unlike playing work, this scheme is based on the creation and assignment of cluster patterns which take advantage of the geographical distribution of the teams along the country. We also modeled the assignment of match to specific dates and time slots while simultaneously considering various conditions imposed by game broadcasters, the national government, and international tournament calendars. Argentina's first division football league is one of the most popular professional sport competition. Created almost 100 years ago, it is ranked among the most important and most competitive leagues in the world. In the 2019-19 season, 26 teams competed in a single round robin format, that is, every team played every other in once. In the 2019-20 season, this figure was reduced to 24, playing again in a single round robin format. The number of teams is an additional computational difficulty. We recall that most football leagues around the world typically have only 16 to 20 teams. 
prior to the 2018-19 season, five division tournaments were scheduled manually, with little attention being paid to sporting fairness. As a result, matches between some pairs of teams have been assigned to the same venue for up to six consecutive tournaments. In the 2017-18 season, match between almost half of teams' pairings have been held at the same venue at least twice in a row. This situation was especially dark for some small teams that for many consecutive seasons never played at home against the most popular teams, which being in the highest ticket revenues. For example, the match between Banfield and the traditionally strong River Plate team was held at the latter's home ground six years straight previous to 2018-19 season. Other difficulties arise naturally from the fact that the geographical distribution of the team's home venue locations that you can see in the map, combined with the single round rowing format, implies that the total distance traveled over a season may vary significantly from team to team. It must be mentioned that Argentina is the eighth largest country in the world, and a two-way trip between any two venues range up to 3,300 kilometers. So, with the manual schedule, some teams have to travel much more than others during a season, which is detrimental to sport fairness. Consider the case, for example, the popular team of Boca Juniors and Huracan, to 10 teams located in Buenos Aires City. Whereas the former side traveled a total distance in 2017-18 season of about 4,500 kilometers, the figure for Huracan was almost the double. If sporting fairness is to be preserved, one would expect to see teams that are in the same geographical region traveling comparable total distances. A schedule in which this total travel distance differs significantly would be certain to draw criticism from managers, players, fans, and the media alike. In the following article, published by one of the main Argentine newspapers, you can see some of the criticism to the last schedule made manual. Our work was implemented to schedule the last two seasons of the Superliga, achieving clear improvements over the manual previous approach. I hope that this introduction showed the relevance of this project and the and that you are interested in the technical aspects of this work. Now, Denis Soré will explain in detail the main techniques applied in our project. Thank you, Guillermo. Let me present the approach we use to solve this problem. Following the bulk of the literature, our approach is based on an IP formulation of the problem. And because a straightforward solution via conventional solvent is not possible, we use a decomposition scheme. This is a traditional approach in the literature introduced by Neunhauser and Trigg in 98, uh, but we use a different scheme and uh, we are gonna uh, give the details uh, in the sequel. In practice, this approach has been used extensively to schedule professional soccer in, throughout the world. And here's a list of, of, of countries that at some point in time have scheduled professional leagues using this approach. Our IP formulation of the problem considers the traditional logical constraint, constraints. Each team plays uh, once on each round. Uh, each pair of teams play exactly once throughout the tournament. And also pretty much like every other major league uh, in the world, there are a number of teams that are considered to be traditionally stronger than the rest. In the case of Argentina, these are five teams. Uh, their plate, Boca Juniors, Racing, Independiente, and San Lorenzo. Uh, to preserve sport fairness, we impose that no team would play uh, in consecutive rounds against any of these two strong teams. Also, and this is a distinct feature of the Argentinian Argentina tournament, almost every team has a traditional rival. And that's because of uh, the, the fact that Fan base is mostly related to, to where the teams are located. Uh, so you have that teams such as Racing and Independiente are traditional rivalries and they're very close to each other in terms of, of where the venue is. Uh, because clashes between traditional rivals attract, tend to attract uh, larger audiences, uh, we spread these, these clashes throughout the tournament. And also, whenever a team uh, such as Racing plays at home, 
uh, in a given round, we impose that its rational rival, independent in this case, would not play at home on that round to avoid clashes of fans on the streets. We also consider international competitions. Uh, and we will consider legacy, the legacy issues mentioned by Guillermo in the objective function. And we will try to um, maximize the number of, of inversions of the home away status relative to the previous implementations of the tournament. In terms of travel balance, as mentioned by Guillermo, uh, teams are spread throughout the, the country, but they're concentrated in some locations, such as Buenos Aires or Santa Fe or Córdoba. So the way we impose travel balance is by partitioning teams into clusters with the idea that teams within a cluster are in a comparable situation in terms of in a geographical situation. Um, and we impose the following constraint. For any cluster, two teams that are in the same cluster has to conduct the same amount of travel to different clusters. That's the way we preserve the fairness in terms of, of balance. As I mentioned, the objective function is to maximize the home away status of reversal. And the problem of uh, assigning specific date and times uh, is solved separately. And I'm going to give some details in the SQL. In terms of the solution approach, our solution scheme uh, is the following. We first solve an IP-based model for clustering teams, which is focused on minimizing the distance within clusters, which is no different than traditional uh, clustering methods in the CS literature. But this is based on IP. After that, we take these clusters, which serves as an input for the model, and we uh, generate many patterns cluster patterns, unlike home away patterns. And I'm going to give details in the SQL. Once you have a set of patterns, we solve a streamlined version of the IP model in which there is an additional uh, auxiliary variable that tells you if a team is assigned, is assigned to a specific pattern. And this reduces the number of decisions that has to be taken into account and also the constraints that has to be taken into account significantly and allow us to solve the model approximately uh, in very short time, OK? There's some potential issues with the feasibility of the, of the resulting model. In practice, we were able to generate uh, solutions very quickly. After this is done, we move to assign specific dates and, and times using an IP model. And I'll give more details. In terms of the the composition base, the, the, the composition approach, as I mentioned, uh, it's a pattern based composition approach, but it's based on clusters. So, unlike home away patterns, we consider cluster patterns. So, the form of a cluster pattern is a sequence of, uh, of symbols. You have an H when we say that a team plays at home. And instead of simply specifying if a team is playing away, we specify on which cluster a team is playing away. So it's more detailed than, than a, an a home away pattern, which is the traditional approach or what the traditional approach uses. So we have a model that produces a set of, of patterns. And then once we have this set of patterns, we solve a streamlined version of the problem in which uh, teams are anonymized in the sense that uh, the specific constraints of, for example, strong teams or traditional rivalries are forgotten. And we solve this model in which we assign ra uh, patterns to teams, anonymous teams. And once we have that, that assignment, then we solve a separate problem in which we assign uh, these patterns to a specific teams considering the uh, additional constraints pertaining strong teams or traditional rivalries. Let me briefly discuss the problem of assigning a specific date and times to matches. There are several co considerations that we take uh, into account. The main ones, I think, is uh, the security concerns, uh, which are essentially uh, trying to avoid clashes between uh, rival teams. Also, uh, 
the congestion that this generates into the streets of, of a city, and also the police allocation, because you, have, you need uh, police to uh, essentially oversee each one of these events. Uh, there is a limited number of police force that can be allocated to, 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 to in any specific day. Also, broadcasting considerations are play, play a role here. There are two networks that broadcast games. We have to give them enough time to prepare, prepare uh, one uh, broadcast and the next. Um, also, we have to balance between the, team, the matches between networks. Uh, also, teams uh, prefer to play during the weekends because that's where the higher uh, attendances are achieved. So we balance the number of, of, of rounds in which they play in the week, weekday or weekends. And also we consider uh, I should, uh, international tournaments and weekend so as to give enough rest to teams that are participating in these international tournaments. Before going into the results of our models, let me briefly discuss uh, our implementation to schedule uh, the Superliga Cup. The Superliga Cup is a parallel tournament to the Superliga, pretty much like the Copa del Rey in Spain or the Italian Cup in, in Italy, where the teams of Superliga uh, are divided into two groups. They play in a group phase, which is followed by a playoff stage. Okay. Uh, the focus of the fixture is on inverted locations relative to the Superliga tournament. And the initial sub proposal consisted on divided uh, or, or forming the groups, essentially separating traditional rivalries. So you have uh, the, the two groups, but they wanted to uh, perform a random draw to form the groups. After seeing this proposal, we conducted a study using a streamlined version of the, of the model, just to illustrate the fact that depending on the configuration of the group was the number of inversions that were not possible. And we constructed this, the histogram that I'm showing, uh, that tells you uh, the number of configurations for which certain number of inversions is not possible. The idea here is that if you conduct a random draw of the, of the groups, then you are likely to end up having a high number of inversions that are not possible. After showing this to the SAF management, we convinced them that instead they selected, handpicked a specific group configuration so as to minimize the number of inversions that were not possible. Now I leave you uh, with uh, Mario Guajardo, who is going to talk about the results we obtained. Thank you, Dennis. There are many dimensions in which the results of this work can be analyzed. An important achievement is the alignment of multiple stakeholders, often with conflicting interests along a single solution. Now, on the quantitative side, we would like to highlight some of the most important characteristics of the solution. Regarding the home away status of the matches in the 2018-19 season, our schedule switched 114 of the 146 matches that had been played at the same venue during at least two consecutive seasons before. Likewise, our solution for the 2019-20 season reversed the home away status of 122 of the 139 matches for which the reversal was desired. As for the travel distance, our operations research approach improved dramatically the performance of the schedule in a number of metrics. For example, the standard deviations of the distance per away game across all clusters were reduced by more than 30% relative to the 2017-18 season. Also, the difference between the longest and shortest distance traveled by the teams in the same cluster were reduced on average by 36 and 46%. Another metric is the number of trips made by the team to play away games against opponents of other clusters. While our model assures balance in this respect by setting lower and upper bounds, previous schedules exhibited large difference even for teams from a same cluster. The coefficient of variation of the team's travel distance over a tournament is a metric of particular interest since the set of teams in the Superliga have varied somewhat over the season. It turns out that our schedules have considerably reduced the coefficient of variation as well. In cluster one, for example, 
which consists of the teams from Buenos Aires City, the improvements translate in a reduction from levels above 30% in the 2017-18 season to less than 10% in the following seasons. Regarding the assignments of matches to specific days and times, our solution resulted in a smooth schedule for the TV networks and with attractive games featured in most of the prime time slots. The number of games per day in the Greater Buenos Aires has been less than two in 95% of the days where matches have been held in this area, which is an important contribution to the public security. Teams playing international competitions have been assured of sufficient resting time between consecutive games. Eventually, the participation of Argentinian teams in international tournament has been remarkable during this period, with two teams making it to the final of the 2018 Copa Libertadores, while two teams got through to the semifinals and one to the final of the 2019 edition. Of course, we cannot claim that these outcomes were only because of our schedules, but we believe that at least partly they have made an important contribution in this respect. And talking about contributions, we would like to remark that although our methodologies have been designed for the Argentinian football, we believe that they have potential to address sports scheduling problems in other contexts. One of our scientific contributions, the team clustering approach, was in our case conceived according to geographic criteria and used it to balance travel distances. While this might or might not be important in other leagues, one could also think of forming clusters based on other criteria and use the cluster for other purposes, such as balancing games against popular teams and underdog teams. Our second contribution, the cluster patterns, the composition approach, could be used to speed up the solution process in other hard scheduling problems. We notice in this regard that this approach is more general than the standard home away pattern decomposition approach by Neuhausen and Trick, which since 1998 remains as one of the main approaches in the area. Also, our approach conduced to a much more reduced space of solutions, which might help to dramatically reduce the solution time as well. In our case, this time reduction has been from many hours to few minutes or even seconds without losses in solution quality. In fact, we have been able to find the optimal solution to some of the instances tested in the Argentinian league. So it will definitely be worth it to investigate how this new approach performs in other problems. Also, the use of integer programming to assign games to specific dates and times received very little attention from previous literature. Recent empirical work has pointed out, on the other hand, that the day in which games are scheduled is a very important concern in football leagues. So we hope that our work will foster more research to improve schedules in this respect. Let us now hear from Enrique Sacco, who was the competition manager of the Argentinian Football League while we conducted this project. Quien arma el calendario de las eliminatorias sudamericanas, quien arma el calendario del fútbol de primera división del, de Chile y por otro lado el básquetbol de Argentina, estaba al alcance de la mano, había que tomar la decisión. La Superliga se animó, se animó a tomar esta decisión y pudo lograr entonces eh, la posibilidad de lograr mayor eficacia. Lo dije al principio y lo ratifico ahora. Cualquier convenio que hayamos hecho con el Instituto de Cálculos y con la investigación de operaciones significa para la Superliga del Fútbol Profesional Argentino un gran salto de calidad. Last but not least, the local media coverage of our football project has been nothing short of impressive. It has been really crazy how operation research and mathematical methods have been featured explicitly on TV, radio and articles in newspapers where aspects such as uh, more transparency, credibility, fairness, and, and the objectivity in this scheduling approach have received a lot of attention. The Argentina press is uh, sometimes uh, a bit extreme in their statements. And as we can read here, they say that uh, the schedule was done by computations equivalent to the work of 17 mathematicians. Of course, we have no idea where uh, this number came from, uh, but let's say it has not been an easy challenge to solve these problems. And for sure, we have enjoyed a lot this journey, which has uh, allowed us to combine our passion for our scientific field and also for football. We thank Infors for the opportunity to present this project as finalists of this prestigious Wagner Prize competition.